Police are also looking tonight for a disgruntled customer in the fatal shooting of a food delivery worker in Queens. The father of three was gunned down in Forest Hills on Saturday. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon spoke with people in the neighborhood who knew him. For many in this community, Xin Wen Yen was more than just a delivery driver. He was a husband, a father, a friend, a familiar face. He just was a, a pure gentleman, a pure human being. Yeah. It's so sad, a young man for no reason. And no matter how many packages he had, he would wave and say, you know, hi, friend, right. or he just was kind. Many have brought flowers to the Great Wall here on Queens Boulevard, where Yen worked. Most of the handwritten notes say, you'll be missed. I can't breathe, you know. I miss him so much, so much. He was the delivery man. Everybody knew him, you know. Always a smile, never aggression. Always on his scooter, he'd wave to everybody and say, hello, my friend, hello, my friend. Yen was last seen on that scooter after making a delivery along 108th Street on Saturday night. In this surveillance video, you can see a man walk up to him and shoot him in the chest. So far, police have not made an arrest, but sources say they are looking to question a 50-year-old man who's described by the restaurant owner as a disgruntled customer. Kai Yang says that customer has had several run-ins with them starting back in November. He says he bought the food. 20 minutes later, he gave it back, tried to ask for a refund. We told him we can't take back the food because of COVID, and he started using racist language. Now, Yang claims he was upset. The customer was over a lack of duck sauce. Says that same person vandalized his car and even threatened him with a gun. He went to police twice. After the shooting, Yang says he gave a photo of the customer and his car to investigators. Sources say it matches the car seen leaving the scene. He was like family to me. I feel terrible, just terrible. Yen also worked down the block at Lulu Laundry, which is now shuttered as they grieve. Yen is survived by his wife and three kids. The youngest is two years old. For now, this restaurant remains closed and the tributes, they continue to grow. And so do the hopes that soon the person behind the senseless killing will be brought to justice. In Forest Hills, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.